Hey everyone, I'm Shailen with Readsy, and today we're going to be talking about how to write a short story. Short fiction is a great form to explore for so many reasons. It offers a sort of freedom and possibility to experiment that you don't always have the chance for in long form fiction. It allows you to really experiment with different styles or characters or voices or pretty much anything without having to commit to a super long project. And it can really help you hone a lot of your skills that can also help with long form fiction. It really teaches you how to be concise, how to set up characters really efficiently, how to get readers invested in a situation or character really quickly, and how to use language and scenes really efficiently. Now a short story can range quite a lot in word count. There are more flash fiction type pieces that can be under 500 words, but most short stories are going to be less than 8,000 words. However, there are some longer form short stories that can get upwards of 20,000 words. If you want to write a short story, one thing that's quite freeing about it is that you don't have to do the sort of long-term planning that a novel requires. You might not even really know what the plot development of your short story is going to be. You can kind of just sit down and start writing it. Even if you have to change a lot later, the editing isn't going to be as rigorous as changing the entire plot of a novel. So if you don't really know what your plot development is, how do you start a short story? And I will leave a link to a video that we've got on where to get short story ideas. But one thing you can try to identify is the central emotion or central idea of your short story. Most short stories, because they're so unified, really just hone in on one emotion and one feeling and carry that feeling throughout the story quite consistently. In a novel, you'll probably get a lot of emotional range, whereas in a short story, it's almost a study of this one emotion or one feeling. That central emotion is what you want to convey to the reader via plot and character and language and how you want them to be feeling as they read and when they're done. At the beginning of the story, you really do want to focus on a really strong start. When you have so little space, a meandering beginning is going to really weaken the story. You want to capture the reader's attention on that first line. Even more so than in a novel, I think in a short story, you might have to put a lot of time and consideration into crafting a really, really strong, engaging first line and first paragraph. And there are so many things that this could be. It could be an insight, it could be an image, it could be an action, or it could accomplish multiple things. When in doubt, I usually try to open on either an action of a character doing something that's pretty interesting, or I like to open on an interesting image. Even if this ends up changing later, I think that those are usually pretty strong ways to begin. One strategy many short story writers take, and one that I often take myself when writing short stories, is to just go through the story and basically every sentence you write is whatever feels necessitated by the previous line and you uncover your story slowly through this method. It's not the fastest way to write but with such a short piece it doesn't really matter if your process is a little slower. Counterintuitively I find that there's actually more range in structure in short stories than in novel. I think that this is because when you have a novel when it elapses over such a long period of time, it kind of naturally falls into a more standard structure in most cases. However, with short stories, they're so small that the structures can vary so widely and they don't really have enough time to settle into that familiar shape of a story. Although most of them will still have the general components of a story being the inciting incident and the climax. Although often in a short story, those two things are just a single sentence. When structuring your short story with so few scenes, I think the key thing to remember is that with every scene and really every paragraph, you should be trying to continually raise tension. Rarely do you want to resolve things throughout the story. If you have opportunity for tension, leave it open and unresolved and keep that tension building until the very end. When you get to the ending of your story, in many cases it really comes back to character. Because short stories are so small, they don't really have the space to develop long form complex plots, which is why most of them tend to be quite character driven. By the end, we really want to see a character who has either changed or the character hasn't changed, but as the reader, our understanding of them has changed. So oftentimes, really strong short stories end on the main character making a choice or having some sort of profound change or revelation. Characters in short stories are different from characters in novels because you won't be getting the sort of deep portrait of a character and you probably won't even know that much about them. So because of that, choose your details very carefully. Try to define your character through really specific but unique traits and choose them really carefully rather than casting their characterization in more 
broad strokes. Find ways to portray them through little specific details and through their choice, action, and growth. When it comes to editing, try to focus on refining that central idea or emotion of your story. Now that you've written it, you might be more aware of what the focus and the point of the story is. With so little space, wording especially has to be very precise, so cut anything extraneous. In novels, you have more space to go on little tangents and explore little side tangents, but you don't really have a lot of space for that in a short story. So really whittle it down to be as minimal as it can be. You can still have, you know, interesting description, especially if that's your style, but just try to make sure that everything you include in the story is contributing to that unity. Luckily, a draft of a short story can be done in a day. You can even do multiple drafts of a short story in a day because they don't take too long to read over. However, with such a need for precision, you'll probably be wanting to do a lot of drafts. Don't be scared to experiment. Short stories are one of the best forms to experiment in, in my opinion, at least within the prose style, because they're just so poetic and open. They're so free. I think it's a misconception that short stories are confining because of their short space, but I actually find them to be so free because you can sustain almost any experimentation for a couple thousand words, even if it would be impossible to sustain for 80,000 words. They're excellent avenues for experimentation and therefore excellent avenues for growing and learning as a writer. So that's how to write a short story. If you have any recommendations for your favorite short stories or favorite books of short stories, leave them below. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time.